All right, everybody. I want to say welcome back, if you're back again, to the to the channel. Today I'm going to do something quite out of the ordinary. I'm not going to go over a weapon or a firearm or anything like that. I want to go over this book. This is the uh, Zombie Survival Guide. Complete Protection from the Living Dead um, by Max Brooks, author of the World War Z. You know, the, this book's pretty interesting. Um, got it because of, you know, the whole zombie thing was, was big a few years ago, and, you know, everybody jumped on that bandwagon, and not to say I didn't, I also did, but there were some things to, to look at, in that whole zombie zombie outbreak thing um a few things that were interesting one i found was really interesting and i know you guys are going to fact check me on this and you should go to the cdc's website and look up zombie they actually have a plan in case of there's a zombie apocalypse if you don't believe me check it out go to the cdc's website and search for zombie be be amazed they they say it's you know some kind of natural disaster and they just put zombie on it but i find that hard to believe sometimes being that you know the government doesn't have a sense of humor but take it as however you want anyway back to this book this is really interesting and i'll tell you why if you take the word zombie and you just put people trying to take my shit in case of a natural disaster, um, that's, that's basically what this is. Any type of natural disaster, people trying to take your stuff, hurt you, your family, whatever, that, that's all they did is they, they just put zombie on it. And when you go through it, there is some really, really interesting things, um, on how to dress for certain certain areas you know like i don't know that they showed the desert and cold weather and all this and that uh what vehicles work well right if there's total gridlock i mean you'd want to use a motorcycle some some of the stuff is uh pretty pretty self-explanatory but they do go through like equipment there's a checklist you know what you should have and this reads right out of any other survival thing i mean it's not it's not too too bad. I mean, it's it's interesting, right? Avoid urban areas. You know, it it tells you whether you should bug in, bug out, what what you're going to do in either one of those scenarios, right? Um how to sleep, uh don't be seen, obviously cardio, we all know that one from watching, you know, Zombie Land, but you know, places to go, what, what works well, uh, different types of food that you can find out in nature, uh, what to avoid. It's, it's literally a decent read. If you're in any kind of prepping situation, this, this will work. You know, if you're going to defend you know, void long hair, people will grab your hair, they just say zombies, you know, I, it's, it's pretty, pretty cool, uh, you know, they, they tell you how to make flamethrowers, they tell you how to make poisons, acids, uh, Molotov cocktails, silencers, I mean, they don't go into detail about it, but we can figure it out, you know, the shotgun, if it's good, semi-automatic rifles, the, the pros and cons to everything. Um, if you're on the move, it's, you know, all types of terrain. It's, it's really good. Honestly, it is. Uh, there's a lot of interesting things in here. Um, I mean, like right here, it tells you how plans, list your gear, be ready it's it's not bad at all. I mean, everybody's going to laugh and 
you know, whatever. There are some interesting things in there. If you're going to bug in, how do you fortify your house and how long do you stay in for, you know? Uh, I think we all, in this past couple of years, have seen some pretty crazy crap going around between the pandemic, which fits right into the whole zombie thing, right? Between the pandemic and, you know, the chaos that we had with riots and everything like that, I mean, it, you can take a little bit out of anything. And if anything's going to help you, it's worth, worth having and worth reading. Check it out. You know, if you, if you find this anywhere and I suggest picking it up, reading through it, there's some things that we all can, uh, benefit from. But like I said, the zombie survival guide, if you, uh, get a chance, check it out. Let me know what you guys think. If you've read it, let me know. If there's anything else out there, I'll tell you what, there's one I'm going to be getting, and I had it years ago, and I'm going to re-get it again, is the uh, Anarchist Cookbook from the 70s, and some of it might be outdated or whatever, but it's just, it's nice to have, right? Just gives you some ideas, and I know today in the internet you can find other things, but, you know, it's just something. But anyway, like I said, if you guys have any suggestions... Feel free to comment down below. Let me know what you found, what what books, literature, whatever that you found at work that could work in, in a good situation, you know, uh, to bug in, bug out, survival, booby traps, whatever. Let me know.